Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I am back with me reviewing these Shani brushes. So I went ahead and I, well what would I say this now? I went ahead and concealed my eyes and I went in and I used the Shani brush and it's the mineral blush brush and this is perfect. You see how arch it is? So it blends my concealer like so perfect and then I went in and set it with my powder. So I'm going to go in and show you exactly what I do. So the concealer that I'll be using is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. Works perfect. It's So I went in and I set my eyelids, just to prep it for my eyeshadow. And this brush is freaking amazing. I don't know if you guys see how easily it went in and it blended. I mean, that was just freaking perfect. Like this is gonna make my life a lot easier when I'm actually gonna be concealing my eyes. Cause I always hate doing that. I always try to take the shortcut around it because Ain't nobody have time for that to be honest. Trust me, I'm very lazy when it comes to doing makeup. Believe it or not. I'm very lazy when it comes to doing makeup. So the eyeshadow palette I'll be using tonight, I'm still not sure what I want to do or what I want to create. I want to create something very simple because I just got in from church and I'm doing this video. I'm very bored. It's a holiday tomorrow. So I'm going to be right back. I need to decide which one of my palettes I'm going to use right now. Okay guys, so I went off camera and I actually did this eye using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette but I'm not too sure that I like the color payoff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like it. Anyhow, let me complete this look because I'm feeling very edgy to just remove this and start all over but we'll, we'll see. So I forgot to mention that I'm using the Shani blending brush and it's the F21 brush. I completely forgot to mention that. What thing I can say is that this eyeshadow, like some of the eyeshadows in this palette is very pigmented and I actually really like that. So I'm just blending my transition shade in, blending away and blending so next i'm going in with the cream eyeshadow brush i don't think this is even really a cream eyeshadow brush because i tried using this like i damped it with the kuni moisture surge face spray and i tried to use pyramid the eyeshadow color pyramid in this palette and i had to be like literally pressing into the palette to get some shadow there as you guys can see well next I'm gonna be going in with my contouring eyeshadow brush so I'll be using that with the obesidian I think that's the black one here in the palette just to smoke out the I'm gonna be going in with my Shani eyeliner brush it's the E15 brush but I'm gonna be using it to 
just to fill in the inner tear dot of my eyes and I'm going in with Lucid. This color is very tricky because at first here it looks white but when I put it on my eyes the payoff is actually really gold, like a gold color. So that is really amazing to me, I don't know. and prep my skin and I went in and I used the glam glow glow starter illuminating glow illuminating glow starter this smells freaking amazing guys and you guys know I'm always using my whoops I'm always using my Fenty Beauty contour stick and I use the shade of truffle just to cover my imperfections so I'm going in with the shiny brush in the bronze buffer brush and it's the m22 brush i love applying foundation with this applies my fenty beauty foundation amazing but tonight i'll be using the bare minerals pro foundation and i'm using the shade 29 i think i'm 27 but let's Okay, if you guys see what I'm talking about, this foundation looks, I don't know, I think it's a bit dark for me, but you guys be the judge. It applies very airbrushed, and that's what I love about it. This makeup brush actually, I don't know if it's the brush or the foundation, but you know, I love, this is my favorite foundation brush now. It's very small, dense, as you guys can see. I have another one, but I just love how this one blends. Next, I'm going to be going in and, oh, another thing too that I love about this brush is that when I go in over my eyebrows, you see, it just glides right over. It doesn't smudge it. It doesn't do anything. Man, my wing liner looks jacked up. Yeah, guys, my wing liner looks totally jacked up. Gonna roll with it. Don't really care. I'm a beginner and yeah. So what I'm going to be going in next is the, I'm going to be reusing the Shani Mineral Blush Brush in M21 just to conceal under my eyes. And what I'll be using to conceal my eyes tonight is going to be my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Love this to death. Completely forgot I even had it in my makeup collection. So I'm going to start using it. Improvise because I'm trying not to be a makeup junkie or a makeup hoarder. So let's go. thinking but yo yo seriously yo my makeup is on point can I tell you how excited I am anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and contour this round ass face and I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick and I'm not gonna drag my contour all the way now no, I'm trying to Trying to square it up today. Trying to square it up. I think I might put a little on my nose bridge right there. Nothing much. Nothing much. So I know I'm all over the place tonight. So the brush I'll be using is the Shani brush in the E20. It's a slanted eyeshadow brush. Yo, I'm making these brushes being universal tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead. Just let me dot my brush a bit. And I'm Now, so I'm cheating right now. I 
think they have a brush like this that can blend out my contour to put my powder on it my bronzer so I'm gonna be cheating by using my elf brush and it is the highlighter brush but the girl gotta cheat man don't know why they don't have something like I have to go back through the brushes and see but unless I forgot to pull one out that's identical to this one but yeah I'm gonna improvise and this works perfect for me okay I should actually do here but last but not least I'm gonna be going in with the shiny medium powder brush which is this lovely baby here I still love my eco it's not my, it's my eco tool it's my real techniques brush powder brush that is freaking amazing it's large it covers my round ass face it does the job love it but I'm gonna be testing this out so I'm going in with my makeup forever duo matte powder in 218 I mean so far it's really soft on the skin hmm kind of I don't know like I said I'm the type of girl who when I like something I stick to that one thing but so far this is okay so far it's okay it's one thing I can say these brushes are freaking soft these brushes are freaking soft. Alright, so don't kill me, but I know I'm cheating again. I'm going back in with the e.l.f. highlighter brush just to highlight my higher points of my cheekbone. And I'm using the Artist Couture highlighter powder in Conceited, I think this is. I see a lot of people... Ooh, like I was saying, I see a lot of people are you buying the new one by Jackiana, which is the La Bronze, but child i have had this for about a year because i'm a freaking highlighter junkie and i have others in there and i'm like i said i'm trying to save this year it's 2018 we ain't got time to be wasting coins so as soon as this one is finished or if one of my highlighters are out then i will go ahead and cut that one by jackiana because it looks amazing on any complexion especially deeper skin tones it's freaking amazing so I'm just going in and I'm blending this out. I love this highlighter. This highlighter is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. 